Hi everybody, welcome to the uh, Kindness Corner Virtual Workshop. I'm here with Doris and we're here to talk to you about your projects in the Kids Helping Kids Service Kit. Uh, we're really happy to see you guys working together on this project. Uh, we really want to think about the fact that it's the fall season and we're back to school and kids are getting back into their routine. And we're thinking about those kids that really need a little bit of support right now, especially with our first couple projects. So I know you all have your kits and you have your project bags, project one and project two. I'm gonna talk about them right now. So there are two different projects. Project one is a creative kids bag and project two is a homework helper bag. In project one, for creative kids, it's a school supply bag as, as is the project for the second bag. Um, but Project One Creative Kids, usually we do that more for the kids in elementary age kids, uh, kindergarten to fourth grade, and Project Two is great for middle school age children. Um, so why do we make school supply kits? Um, you know, we really, we know we all go to school and we all see kids sitting around us at school and everybody seems to have their supplies. You know, everybody seems to have pencils and notebooks, but you know, there are schools out there that have a harder time providing these supplies to their students. Um, you know, in the beginning of the school year, we all go shopping with mom and we pick out our folders and our pencils and it's all really exciting because we get those new school supplies to start the year off. But some students really struggle with that because mom and dad might have to go to work and they might have to use their paycheck money to get them food and to get them clothes and things that they need at home. Maybe they have to pay the light bill at home. So sometimes it's hard when the teacher says, hey, we're gonna make a craft project. Everybody, we need to pull out our crayons and maybe some students don't have those crayons. So what we're gonna do is try to give them a little treat and a little something to smile about. Um, so I just wanna show you here, you have a bag to color, so you wanna color your label, decorate it, make it pretty. Those students will really enjoy getting something colorful to look at when they open up their bag. And then in there, we've got some supplies that they might really be able to use. We've got crayons and we've got colored pencils and we've got a composition book. We all know that we use these at school to write the notes down that the teacher says and all those math problems. Um, so you want to give them one of those and we have an eraser and a glue stick and we have some pencils and a dry erase marker We were told by some teachers that the kids really need those because some of them actually use dry erase boards at school I don't know if any of you do, but these students really could use these markers um, And you know something to think about is you know We all have teachers that are special to us and you know We've learned that some of the teachers actually spend their own money to help the students get their school supplies. So you know that you might have your favorite teacher and you can imagine how special it is when those teachers are taking their money and their time to help these students get their supplies. So the homework helper bag is project two and I just wanna show you that one. You have another bag to color and in this one you have some different items. So here we have a little calculator and we have some index cards because students like to write their notes down on index cards when they're learning different subjects at school. And we have pens and pencils and we have a highlighter for highlighting your work and your workbooks. So we're giving some of these kids in the older grades a little something too to help them with their study skills. So these two bags are gonna go to some underprivileged schools in our area to help students out. So when you get these finished and send them back to us, that's what all the Giving Tree volunteers are gonna do. Doris is gonna to talk to you now about the Colby Kids Bag. So this will be project number three. And as Bridget mentioned, this is the Colby Kids Bag. So this is a really cool um, organization. Um, it's, this is going to a program called the, the Colby Hopeful Nights Program. And it's run by the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund. And what they do, they help people who come in from out of the area who might need to go to hospitals or to visit special doctors. We're very fortunate to live in this area, in the Philadelphia area, where we have such great hospitals really close to home. Some kids have to travel from really far away. So when they come here to Philly, they might need to stay in a hotel for a couple of nights, maybe even a couple of weeks. And it's kind of expensive. And this fund, uh, the Kelly and Dolan Memorial Fund, they help them with monies to make it a little bit more affordable. 
it also can be kind of lonely and scary for them to be so far away from home. So we put these packages together to give the kids who are who may be patients and also for the siblings of the patients. So you're gonna have a bag that we want you to color. And then we're gonna put some fun activity uh, things in there. So we have um, a little coloring book, some colored pencils, an activity book, crayons, some pencils, and even some Play-Doh. So these are some really great things and then we'll, we'll send this off to them and it's in the hotel room waiting for them when they arrive. And then, okay, and then I'm going to talk about project number four. And I know some of you might have worked with the Giving Tree before, and you know about the Peace and Smiles box. But I just want to take a minute. Um, so this is a, a really special project to us. It was one of our first projects that we ever made at the Giving Tree, and we have spread lots of joy through these boxes, uh, probably for about uh, over ten thousand now. Mm -hmm. So we're over ten thousand children have received one of these boxes. So everybody likes to eat cereal. So what we do is we eat a lot of cereal here at the Giving Tree. And we save all of these cereal boxes. And you wanna take all of your items that come in your project number four bag. And these items are gonna go into the cereal box. And they are colored pencils and crayons and markers. And again, we have activity books and coloring books. We have a deck of cards. We have some stickers and we have a little writing journal. So all of these items are going to go to a child to cheer them up. And the child is actually, many of them, in the hospital. Um, so sometimes kids have reasons that they need to go to the hospital. You know, sometimes they have those soccer injuries and they break their leg or they feel a little sick one day and they need a little bit of an medicine to, so that they get better and their belly feels better. So there's all different reasons why a child might have to spend a night or two in the hospital. And it can be a little bit boring because it's a little different than when you're at a hotel where you might be able to say you're having fun and you're walking around and you have things to see. In the hospital, you're sitting there and you're not doing much. So they get this special box and you're going to fill it and you're going to wrap it with this white paper that we've cut for you and got it all figured out. It fits nicely on your box and you're going to draw pictures for them and you're going to write messages. And we gave you some message suggestions here. This just gives you some ideas of fun things to write on the box and pictures to draw, you know, happy pictures, flowers and butterflies. And, you know, when it gets into the colder months, you can draw snowmen and anything you want. At this time of year, it's kind of fun to draw pumpkins and turkeys and, you know, maybe some leaves and do some some fall colors. Um, but these boxes definitely bring a lot of joy and they cheer kids up. And one important thing to remember is you never want to write get well or please we hope you feel better because the doctors and nurses don't like the kids to get boxes that say that just because they're really trying to make them think of other happy thoughts and not really thinking about their sickness. So we really just want to focus on really positive messages. Um, you know, for example, stay strong, have a nice day, you inspire me, you know, things to just really make them smile. And next is project number five, that would be in your project five bag. And this is a baby bundle. There's actually going to be two baby bundles in here. We have one for a little baby girl and one for a little baby boy. These are going to go to an organization called the Baby Bureau, and they've been around for about 10 years, and they help underserved moms, uh, moms that might need a little bit of help with their, with their babies. Babies can be very expensive. You have to think about formula and diapers, but you also have to think about clothing and medications and different things for them. So uh, they put together sort of a starter packet for them with clothing and books and all sorts of really great things. So our baby bundles become a part of the bundles that they give out to, to the families. So what you're gonna do, there are two bags in here. You're gonna color these and then fill each of the bags with one pair of socks, a little washcloth, and then a baby bib. And you'll, you'll see there's pinks for the girls and blues for the boys. And then you can put these little, um, these little cards in here that say, welcome to the world from your friends at the Giving Tree. And there's also a frame in here. There's just one of these, but you can decorate this. And this is a really nice gift for, for the moms that um, they can put their, maybe uh, one of the very first baby pictures that they get. Next, you're gonna see an envelope like this. And inside there will be some cards. 
And honestly, all of these projects that we're doing are really, really important and they're really great, but these are my favorite. Um, these are actually probably one of the most important things that you're gonna do. Um, these are cards that you can choose to to create for, and then you're gonna see, we have a little booklet in here of message su suggestions. Hospitalized children, senior citizens, police and fire, homeless individuals, even for the military. So you get to pick and choose who you want to make a card for. Just again, remember to keep it really positive. You can draw some really great pictures and then write um, all different things in here. Um, sign your first name only. And if for some reason you did not receive this, because we think maybe some packages went out that did not have the booklets, just uh, send us an email, have mom or dad send us an email or give us a call and we can email this off to you. Um, and I think that's it. Here are some um, really great, see these will give you some ideas of some cards that people have drawn and sent in. And these are really great because it makes people know that, that you've thought about them and that they're really special. So I think so I, that's it. So I want to say thank you guys for doing these kits for us. And mom and dad will bring these kits back to us when you finished your projects. And we hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything that you want to talk to us about, please give us a call because Doris and I are always happy to chat on the phone with you if you have a question about your projects. Um, so have a good night and we'll talk with you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks.